Okay, lying down. We're Oscar and Dan, two boys from Sweden trying to see as much of the world as possible while we're young. Right now, we're on our way to visit 100 countries before the end of the year, and today we're visiting, in our opinion, one of the coolest spots on Earth, the Dead Sea. We just caught our first sight of the Dead Sea, which will be where we're staying for the next two nights. Especially fun to see Jordan on the other side, reminds us of our trip there with our good friend in 2018. The landscape is just incredible. And we're approaching the lowest land point on Earth. We already surpassed 300 meters below sea level. Ah, so we just drove for a little over an hour and we made it to the Dead Sea, our first time here in four years. And it's very fun to see it from the other perspective. Last time was from the Jordanian side. Oh, there's a lot of flies here. And it is significantly hotter here than it was in Jerusalem, like by a lot. <laughs> So I have to say that being in Jerusalem and going to Hebron, it's been two very heavy days. So coming out here into nature where Oscar and I are happiest and such an incredibly beautiful place. We're very lucky that as visitors, we can just go away from the problems and they don't affect us. When in fact, Israelis and Palestinians live with this constant tension. Wait, that so after a stunning drive, we made it to our hotel here by the Dead Sea. This view, it feels like we're at a resort on Mars. <laughs> Welcome to our $300 a night hotel. If you want to go to the Dead Sea, definitely go in Jordan because it's literally one sixth of the price. At least the room is very nice. Our view is incredible. This is it. Cozy, cozy. Okay, not bad, not bad. Pretty spacious. And let's show you the view. It's so funny when you look out over the Dead Sea and you see all the people swimming because <laughs> it looks like everyone's sitting at the like on the bottom of the sea but in fact they're just floating you know <laughs> it just looks hilarious We're gonna go for uh, our first little swim I'm kind of scared like I have a few scratches and like scars that I think might hurt a lot <laughs> Yeah but it's gonna be very fun to see it's been four years as we've said a million times It's just so funny seeing people floating out here This sand that they put out here is like so I don't know damaged from all the salt I think So it's 7.30 p.m. already Wait so... it's 6.30 Oh, that's what I meant. Sorry, yeah, it's 6.30 p.m. So the sun has already sort of gone down behind the mountains. So uh, we're getting shade for the first time that we're going in, which I think is going to be nice, actually. <laughs> oh my god, the bottom is like just so. Okay, lying down. <laughs> that is oh crazy. God. Half my body is out of the water. This is amazing. Ah! Put your hands and feet up, can you? Like, Without I don't even think I could sink. If oh I <laughs> my god. <laughs> the only thing limiting this is my inflexibility. <laughs> it just looks like you're defying physics. I think I'll try to gravity. All right, we're gonna float around for a few more minutes, I think. <laughs> I don't know why Dan has turned around, but I'm wow. Enjoying the view. It's so crazy, like you have to use your hands, not to stay afloat, but just so you like don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Cause staying in this position like really hurts after a while. Floating around in the dead sea, have a happy holiday. Do, do. Na, 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 na. You can see in a new old fashioned way. Do, do. Swimming in the Dead Sea is really one of the most amazing things you can do on this planet. It is the closest you can get to feeling weightless without doing some crazy expensive space simulation experience. It was just so fun. And now we're going to the Dead Sea Mall to get try to get some ice cream. And you just have to look behind me because, oh, well, not behind me, behind you guys, because the view is wow. This is 
seriously some of the best chocolate ice cream I've had in a long time. <laughs> but my you mouth have is ice cream on your teeth. That's how good it is. I'll repeat that. It's so good. It's so creamy. Good morning. Good morning. It is oh. the next day and we are about to go for a hike. I don't want to jinx it by saying the temperature is much better, but for now it is much better. We are in I'm in Giri, which is uh, one of the most iconic and popular nature reserves in all of Israel. I think within the half an hour that we were in the car, the temperature must have risen by about five degrees. <laughs> oh God. Let's do it. We did two hikes in En Gedi, and let's just say they weren't exactly made equal. The first one, Wadi David, turned out to be so crowded we could barely move forward at some points. We're starting out by doing the one and a half kilometer Wadi David hike, which is supposed to be, according to all the online sources, a very easy hike. That's what it's classified as. Yet people are walking here with hiking sticks, with those detachable pants that convert into shorts, with hiking boots, making us feel so I'm prepared. I'm like, where are you going? Almost everyone is dressed like they're about to hike Mount Everest. Um, I mean, I would say that we are pretty fit people. Like, this is not a very easy hike. I'd say it's around medium, actually. It's very short, but it's uh, definitely not flat. <laughs> Don't think we knew it would be this one. Okay. Try to avoid the water. It's very slippery, too. Okay. Not gonna lie, this no, is very on. cool. This feels like some sort of indoor adventure park, but it's natural. We are with Wadi David, I'm kidding. We're done. Definitely not as secluded as we hoped. Let's see if the other one is um, a little less cramped. <laughs> mid, not mid, pre, middle, in between hike snack. The almighty Oreo, the trusty vegan cookie in 99% of countries. I'm looking at you, Korea. By the way, so many Korean connections today. We walked past this like Korean group. After they passed, Oscar was like, Annyeonghaseyo. And they turned around and they were like, eh? So we were like, Annyeonghaseyo. And then they said it back and we were like, oh, so cute. That's the story. Remember this when we're sponsored by Oreos in the future. Remember this moment and every moment that came before this one. next hike and I'm a little worried after talking to the guard slash guide because he was like it's three and a half kilometers each way and I was like you read online it's four in total so let's see it is very hot we take back what we said earlier being outdoors hiking in this is oh my god look what's there hi, hi. it's an ibex right yes oh my god oh my... hi how are you doing sir we're ma'am so cute I wonder what the predators are here humans humans something else. This is much better. We're here all alone with an Ibex in the most beautiful nature. I like it. Bye bye Wadi David. This is where it's at. I also really like the name of this one. Wadi Arugot. Actually in a weird Swedish dialect it sounds like uh like be well. Harigot. Perfect place to swim. I'm doing it. Oh, this is so cool. So nice. We didn't bring a towel though, so now we gotta air dry. <laughs> We both feel reborn after that. That was so rejuvenating, exactly what we needed. So I put this on wet. It dried in like a matter of three minutes.
if Wadi David is sparkling water, this gorge, Aragot, is bubble tea. Okay, we're almost dying. <laughs> we're heading up to the upper pools. That's like the very end, even beyond the end of this uh, path that we're on. So um, I think we're quite badass today. <laughs> Okay, so uh, change of plans. Apparently the last bit of the hike was already closed for the day. You can't walk past it past two and it's probably 2.50. So we got halfway and then we ran into the park ranger sort of. So yeah, we're hiking back down. It's a bit of a shame, but there should be another big waterfall that uh, we'll stop by. There's a lot of commotion here, so I don't think we're swimming, but we're gonna see the waterfall at least. Wait, you're blocking the water. Hey, I'm the view. Oscar. We made it down. We didn't die. We still have water in our bag. It is four o'clock. We started this. Wait, didn't we start this at like two? It wasn't so long. Forever this way. We are starving. We missed lunch because we were hiking. We're just so ready to finally have a feast. Beyond Burger, uh, stir fried noodles and vegetables, and this um, some sort of vegetarian meat Thai dish. Yes. I feel almost delirious. I'm ready to go for another dip in the Dead Sea. Okay, so <laughs> we've been debating now for almost an hour whether we should get up early tomorrow morning at like 4 a.m. and see sunrise at Masada. Masada. Don't know how to pronounce it. Masada. Which is probably the most iconic thing to do here, but um, yeah, um, I'm not sure. What do you think? Should we do it? I think we should if we, <laughs> if we ever. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Well, I guess you'll find out in a few seconds whether we actually did do it. So, um, we're doing it. Masada is an ancient fortress situated on top of a mountain next to the Dead Sea. Rebels against the Roman Empire are said to have used this as their last outpost in their revolt. Nowadays, it's famous for the Snake Path, a trail that brings hikers, typically at the break of dawn, up the side of a mountain to watch the sunrise from the top. So the hike begins. Apparently it's only about 45 minutes to get to the top, which isn't bad at all, but at 4.30 a.m. You wish there was a cable car that was open at this hour. You know that we're usually not great at like going to some things early when they start early especially? We were the first ones through the gate. I think that's that's worthy of applause. This seriously has to be one of the most amazing things we've done. A whole new type of magical, especially with Jordan and the Dead Sea. Almost made it to the top of the cable car station. So we're getting there. But like, wow, this is so magical. The bird song, the tranquility, we're almost completely alone. There's one other couple that far ahead of us. They were really fast, <laughs> but then the others are pretty far behind. So we're almost all alone. So cool. Even though it's early and it's not so hot yet, we are dripping. It's steep, but it's worth it. We made it up to the top. Let's sit down somewhere and enjoy the sunrise. And then we'll explore the Masada Fort a little bit. Yeah, there's other people up here already who didn't go up here with us. How's that possible? <laughs> just saying like the sun rises every day but how like how rarely do we actually go to see it it's such a magical thing and it happens literally every day we should see it more often i think
next time on Oscar and Dan. Two six-year-old LA women who do Pilates. Make pictures, yalla. Thank you. Yes. And it's his birthday. Because you're trying not to die. No, man.